All right, this is Lucky Links. I'm trying a new webcam. I think it's a little grainy. Um, I thought I'd do another video today, uh, keeping up with this doing a video a day kind of thing. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Hey, hey, hey. Um, so someone, so someone <laughs> wrote me and said, uh, look, I can use my phone now because I'm using the webcam. Someone wrote me and said, um, trying to figure out how to focus this without sounding, you know, like all preachy. So there's this, um, there's this idea. Years ago, I read this really great book um, called Magic and Mystery in Tibet. And it's by a woman named Alexandra David Neal. And she wrote it, um, I think it was in the 20s. And she got into Tibet at a time when, and she got um, access to um, things that you, sh at that time, it would, uh, like a foreign woman, it was impossible for a foreign, foreign woman to be able to do it. She did it. She got in, she started working with some of the, the, um, the Buddhists who were there, and she met some of the Bonpos. And um, there was a specific scene in, in the book that stuck with me that really is all about the point that I'm going to make today. Um, she witnessed the Dalai Lama at the time. I'm going to say something now that's very shocking that people are going to get all pissed at me. I didn't say this. This is not me. This was someone else. I'm not saying anything about it. I'm just saying, at the time, she uh, she was witnessing the, the Dalai Lama at the time, which is not the same Dalai Lama that there is now, obviously, because he wasn't born yet. But um, there was uh, a, the Dalai Lama was blessing people, and there was this. Gamchen sitting there. He was a wiz wizard, a, a, a bond practitioner. It was a bond pole. He was sitting there and he was watching the whole thing with disgust. And he said, um, <laughs> if someone is going to give a blessing, then they need to first be able to, they need to first possess the thing that they profess to be giving out. This is a really which was a really, and for those of you who don't know, there was a, there was a great tension between the Bon and the Buddhists for a lot of reasons, which I'm not going to go into here. But so the the so the, he he took off. He was like all pissed off. He's like, you know, and she was fascinated. She was like, wait, why why did he say that? Um. So there was some suggestion that perhaps that Dalai Lama didn't have the power that he claimed to have by this Bonpo's assertion. So she went to talk to him later and um, she actually got him to talk to her and open up. And one of the things that he said, she asked him about his practice and he says, I do, I do the great work. I roll around in the dung and I make stars out of it. And that line when I was first starting out, because my master told me, you know, he gave me the book to read when I started out. And there was something about that line that just got me. And I never, I didn't understand it fully. And I realized that some of the things that I've been talking about lately have, have to do with that. And someone said to me uh, over the last couple of days, a couple of people said, you know, you, you seem to be talking about, you seem to be making it okay to be human. And that a lot of the spiritual practice out there kind of looks down on being human. And I think that something else, something else happened with this too. I did years ago, before I started down um, the Tibetan road, I did, I did go through um, Reiki training and I did, you know, all the, you know, all the way through, through to master. <clears throat> now I'm, I'm not going to say anything about that. Except to say that when I took it, it started me looking for the answer in the East. I said, the answer is in the East. I know the answer is in the East. The answer that I'm looking for is in the East. And eventually it led me to the Tibetan stuff. So 
Am I going to talk about the efficacy of Reiki? I'm going to say that Western Reiki is really lacking quite a bit, that there's a whole lot of training that used to go into uh, Yusui's Reiki. That's all I'm going to say about it. But um, but it, it whatever I did with that got me looking towards the East, which I'm grateful for. During one of the classes, the teacher said <clears throat> something actually that was pretty, I thought it was pretty, pretty sensible. She said, she said in the West, people are alienated from their lower chakras. Like, you know, people are always talking about chakras, but they look down on the, the base chakra and the second chakra. And I'm not, I'm not going into chakras. That's usually something you have to do. <clears throat> Through energy, it's not something you read a book about. You actually, there's a practice. You, you actually practice. You know. Anyway, she said. Um, she said. You know, in the West, people are trying to live all in their upper chakras and they deny their lower chakras. Now, there, there was actually something to what she said. You know, um, which is um, ironic because I think that she was all about how she was ascended above above the human stuff which was actually illustrating the very thing she claimed that most Westerners were doing. And a lot of the teachings out there says it, it basically, it's like we're spiritual beings. No, you're a human. You're a human. You're stuck in a human body. For whatever reason you came here, you got stuck. This is your thing. You're here. Now that doesn't mean that you get to wait for something to kiss you on the forehead and come in and rescue you. Your job as a human is to clean up the freaking mess out there that humans are making. And I don't mean by getting into politics and fighting with each other, all this garbage that people are fighting for. People are always asking me, well, how do you remove the negativity? How do you stop from getting stuck? Stop valuing the garbage that keeps people at odds with each other and realize that you are not above it. You are not this spiritual enlightened being. There's this whole thing people do that's this level jumping thing, you know? The level jumping, they're like, well, my dear, I'm ascended, I'm up here, and you're down here, and I've come to teach you. No, you haven't. You're stuck in a human body. You're a freaking human. Now, if you go back to what that, that Gamchin said, he said, I roll around in the dung, and I turn it into stars. In the six areas that one could incarnate, in the Tibetan lore, there are six places one could incarnate. The human realm was considered the one through which it was actually really good because you could actually achieve enlightenment through it. Why? Because you weren't suffering as a hell being, so you weren't your life wasn't all suffering and it wasn't all pleasure in the gods realm. You were like in the middle. You could actually think. You could actually use your mind. You, you had a chance. You got to start where you're at. Again, you got to start where you're at. You're in a human body. Which means you have human motivations, human things drive you, there's human things going on. You have a mind. You have to start to re recognize your mind. There's this, there's this, go watch that Milrepa movie. Those of you who got the, um, that Gaia, that Gaia stuff, the, the Gaia, you know, the Gaia. Go watch the Milrepa movie. It was about Mil Milrepa. They didn't finish the movie. There was only one of them. It's the story of a famous, a famous Buddha and how he became, you know, the, the book's really good. The, sto the story about him is really good. But the movie, it talks about like the first part of his life. And, and you know, he the first thing he realizes is he has to control his emotions and he has to control his mind. And all that this modern spiritual stuff is teaching people is, you know, indulge in your emotions. Pretend that you're beyond human. Pretend that you're this great evolved thing. That doesn't give you anything. That doesn't allow you the ability to actually work with where you're at and then move and achieve it's like I said in that video, like, I'm not a master. That's why I know I can get better. You see, it's just something about what that Gamchen said. Roll in the, you, you have to roll in the dung to make diamonds. You can't pretend that you're this great spiritual enlightened being. You can't, you can't pretend. You can't, you can't level jump. You have to deal exactly where you are. I hope that makes some sense. Um, it's okay to be human. You have to recognize what your human qualities are. I mean, these days, everyone's a powerful healer. Everyone's a powerful magician. Everyone's a powerful witch. They all have so much power. Well, then why is the world a mess? You're a human. You have a mess to clean up out there.
they also talk about compassion. It would be really great if we could all be enlightened. The world would be a very different place if that were the case. But we're not. But the only way we as humans can be enlightened is to start by recognizing, one, we are human. Two, the things that you hate in other people are the things you have to have to purify in yourself. Three, as he says in this Milrepa movie, and you can watch it on that Gaia, if you got that Gaia membership. He says, uh, the, um, uh, a monk says to him, he says, you know, your enemies come from your own mind. You got to recognize those pieces. Then you got a chance to like, get better and we got a chance to actually help each other but all we're doing now is is there's no patience the things that we're valuing are things that don't last and we're not acknowledging where we're at we gotta start with the fact that we are humans we gotta work with what and acknowledge what we got there so yeah it's okay to be human and it's okay to get better and it's okay to recognize we got limits. The only way we can get better is if we recognize our limits. You can't pretend your limits don't exist. And then suddenly, you know, ascend. I'm Lucky Lynx is always wishing you success and good fortune in all that you do. Um, if you'd like to get a reading from me, 779-302-8009. Or you can email me at conjurehope at gmail.com. Accept the fact that you're human. Enjoy the fact that you're human. Recognize that humans have incredible potential. And um, when you pretend you're not human, you deny the real power. That can evolve into something much bigger.